Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. Here we have the deluxe air fryer from Pampered Chef. Yes, my wife got into one of those things. And this is one thing that I kind of wanted that she got for having a party. So there's the model number. I'll try to find a link for it down below in the description, but we've never had one. Um, this one seemed like a pretty good size one like you can do a good amount of stuff in it so it's not just like a a one person kind of deal kind of why we went with this a bunch of the easy to use settings there's not too much else on the box anyways oh man it keeps breaking on me Here's what's inside. Air fryer, drip tray, two cooking trays, basket, rotisserie set, retrieval tool, removable shield, plus cooking guide. Yay. So I'm going to get this thing out of here and we'll show you what you get inside the box. Okay, we got her out of the box. Here's what you all get. Um, so this basket was in here. Well packaged, of course. There's like a tray down in here like a splatter screen or something up here. I'm not quite sure yet. We're working our way through all the details. But this is a cool little basket, a rotisserie basket with a latch on it. You throw stuff in. Got a couple of these other trays. A couple of these things for holding something. And this is kind of like a, what you use to put things in and out of there. And it does it as well with this, this rod here. But um, some of the parts here, as you can see, so H, that tray that's in there now is a removable shield. Um, the one on the bottom, C, was a drip tray. And then you've got D, which is the two cooking trays there. E is that basket. Oh, F, I see how that goes. So those things will go on that rod. So that's the rotisserie, what do they call it, rotisserie set. And then you have your retrieval tool here. So I put this little thing together. So this is what, if you're gonna do a chicken or something on there, um, you're gonna spear it with these to hold them on. Um, so down inside here, the way this works, is it fits kind of up in here. And then it keys in on this side here is the drive. And this side here, it kind of falls into a notch so it can't fall out. So then to get it back out of there, you gotta pick it up on that side. how that works but so step one we're gonna clean that baby so it says in here to clean it you just use like a wet rag and clean it out you don't want to submerge it in water um, see here's the tips right here damp cloth you don't want to use abrasive stuff on it yada yada so we're gonna get it cleaned we're gonna have chicken strips and fries in that thing tonight not sure how that's gonna work out yet it's going to be a learning experience for all of us, but that's it so far. It's pretty big. So we'll see how much food we can stuff in there. So when we come back, we're going to put her to use. Inside this cooking guide has some information and tips that you should probably check out as well. I mean, obviously you will, but uh, another breakdown of the parts. And here it kind of talks about some of the settings and what works for what the specific things do and why and then to start cooking so here's certain sections on how to do stuff frozen foods chicken nuggets chicken wings tells you the buttons and the times so that's pretty awesome fries we're gonna give that a try today for sure um, the chicken we have coming I'm not sure if it's frozen we'll find out once it gets here but probably going to be a little bit of a watch it game because it's going to be like chicken strips so I don't know it probably be like chicken breast maybe a little thinner we're going to find out we'll learn together rotisserie hydrated fruits and vegetables and recipes chicken wings we'll go for some of those right now for sure 
even tells you what you need, the basket and retrieval tool, that's pretty cool. I'll be trying to do some salmon in this eventually, oh you beef, beef jerky in here, that's cool. Chicken tenders, here we go, that's what I'm going to make. Awesome, so we'll be back once we uh, got some food in there and we'll show you how it's going. So here's our high quality dinner for tonight. Chicken strips, steak fries. It says on the thing to use these trays, put them in one layer only. And cooking for three people, you're not gonna do it in one shot. I can almost fit this whole bag on there. It's, there's a little bit left. So what I'm gonna end up doing is probably just do two runs. So I'll get the boy fed and uh, make some more for later. So chicken strips, frozen, air fry, cooking tray, how to use it or what to use, 12 to 16, and then fries, thick cut. It says to use the basket, but I'm not going to because I can't. But I'm still gonna go for the same amount of time. So it says to start the lowest time. I'm gonna go for, these chicken strips are pretty thick. So I'm just gonna go for right in the middle. So we got 14 to 16 there, 12 to 16 there. I'm gonna just go for 14 minutes right out of the gate. So I did plug it in. This is what will happen. And it says to put the first tray on the very top if you're doing two trays. So that'll go there. And the other tray, it says to go in the middle, which I guess would be about there. So there's that. You can't go any higher, can't go much lower. So we're going to shut the door. And then, so we're going to go for air fry. So you just turn this thing, so air fry pops up. Then you push this button and you can adjust your time. So we were going to shoot for 14 minutes. Push it again to lock it in and away it goes. So I guess halfway through the cooking time I think it says it'll beep to let you know to rotate tray. So we're going to take the top tray and the bottom tray and we're going to swap sides with them. But other than that, we'll come back in a little bit. So, whoops. So it's even got a little light in there. That's pretty cool. You can see what's going on. And there's that. So I guess we'll come back in about seven minutes and see what's going on. All right, quick seven minutes in. I heard it was making some beeps, letting me know what's up. So rotate it and look. Doesn't look like much, but I'm going to swap trays here and close it and fire it back up. Okay, tray swapped. Closing her up. We should take it back off. Nice thing about this is it doesn't, it cuts the cooking time down a little bit. I mean, what do fries take? Like 20 minutes sometimes, but there's no warming up. Like my big built in oven deal here takes like half an hour to get up the temp. It's a pretty slow one, but so this is going to speed up making dinner quite a bit um, just in that regard. So, anyway, we'll be back in six minutes. Well, it was just beeping at me. It says end. Let's see what we got here. Fries aren't done. Chicken sounds like it could be though. It looks like it's a little crisp. Um, I might pop the chicken out and just check the temp. And the fries definitely need more time. One of the big pieces, the biggest actually piece of chicken was, geez, it was still almost cold in the very center. Um, a couple of the other pieces that were thinner were up to 130. I just put 10 more minutes on there. Um, I'll check it in the five minute mark. I'll probably pull the chicken with the fries. We'll see what they're like after that. So um, the recommended time is not for sure. So something to keep in mind there. I don't know if it cooled down too much when I was rotating the trays or what. It doesn't say you're supposed to let the thing warm up before you put anything in it. So. I'm assuming I'm doing it right. If not, let me know down below. But we'll be back in a few minutes to check on things here. Three minutes into that, I swapped trays. The chicken on the top, I was definitely getting a little crispy looking on the top there because the heating element is at the very top. But see it way up there, the coils. So now we're going to try to crisp up that fries and see what happens. Something to note while she's running is it does get hot on the top, but all the air shoots out the back about this level. 
So if you don't want it close to a wall or anything like that, you can see here where the pants are. But uh, something to keep in mind. All right, she's done. Second 10 minutes. Kind of hard to tell. The chicken, I'm pretty sure, is, is done now. I'm not too worried about that. Pretty close looking. What I might do is pull the chicken off and then put the rest of the chicken and some more fries on that again and throw it back in there. The fries and touch them. They're actually they're hot. They're actually crispy on the outside. They just don't like turn all brown and dark like they do in the oven. So enough for me. We're gonna run it. Chicken I got in here looks good. Gonna go with that. So I loaded up both trays. Do it with the door open, but there's a little bit of chicken on the top one. Let's see if I can show you. A few pieces left, so I'm gonna put them in there. Put that in there. Oops, you gotta turn it, then push the button. You can pick your time. I'm gonna go for 22 and lock it in. So I'm gonna rotate them at 11. See what happens. And here we go for round two. Okay, timer just went off, just pulled them out. They're actually, well, you know, I was kind of looking for crisp last time, but they don't, I mean, they, they do turn a little color, but they're done. Everything's done. You can see a little toast on there. Looks good. I'm happy. Here's how much of a mess you have. Not bad. It's all in the tray. Not a big deal. Yeah, so far so good. It'll take a little time to figure it out and Kind of get your groove going on but uh, I'll give it a thumbs up so far like I said the amount of time it took me to cook two things of food here it would have taken my oven about the same amount of time just to warm up before I could throw anything in it so that said I'm gonna clean this up and call it a night and you guys I need to like comment subscribe and follow the links down below in the description let me know what you think thanks for stopping by